Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katrina from Katrina's Crochet World. My channel is all about yarn, crocheting, and showing you new stitches and how to make things. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like, and share me out. There is a join button if you would like to join my amazing family. All my links are in my about page if you would like to check them out. Also, if you would like to donate to my channel, I also have two links in my about page where you can donate. So today we are going to make a granny square bag. So to get started, what I like to do, let me just move this up a little bit. Oops. What I like to do is the magic ring. So I wrap it around my two fingers and then I'm going to so wrap it around and you're just going to hold that short piece with your thumb and your pointer. So with your pointer finger and your middle finger, you're going to wrap it around once. Then grab that long one and hold it again with your thumb and your pointer. And then wrap it again twice and then grab it with your ring finger. And I am using a seven millimeter crochet hook and it is a clover. And the yarn I'm using is Red Heart Super, sorry, Super Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, and it is hickory, and it's a medium four weight. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab it, grab that loop with your hook, and pull it through. I usually take my fingers out, and then you're going to chain three, one two, three. Now you can use any size of hook you want for this. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use a seven millimeter crochet hook. And just make sure that this is not wrapped around this, the um, circle. That way when you pull on it to tighten it, it won't get all bunched up. So you're going to chain three and then you're going to do two double crochets. This chain three counts as a double crochet. You're going to do two double crochets in, in this um, magic circle. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's your three double crochets. You're going to chain two, one, two. Then you're going to, again, make sure that that piece is not in that circle. Then you're going to do three more double crochets, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. two, three. So when doing this, we're, like I said, it's a granny square. So you're going to make sure that you have four sets of these three double crochets. So we're going to chain two, one, two, put three more double crochets back into that, that ring, yarn over, Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's one, two, and three. So I've got one, two, three. So we're going to do one more. So we're going to chain two. Yarn over and put three more double crochets in that magic loop or magic ring. Sorry. There's one. Two. And three. So make sure, so you got three, chain three spaces, and you're going to do chain two. 
And then you're going to pull on that short string to tighten that up. And just kind of tuck it in behind. So then what you're going to do in that chain, top of the chain three space, you're going to insert your hook and do a slip stitch. If I can get it in there. So there you've got your four corners. So now what I do, so in these two double crochets, you're going to go in the top of the first one, do a slip stitch, go into the next one, slip stitch, and then right in the corner space, you're going to insert your hook, pull loop through and do a slip stitch. Now in this corner piece, we're going to chain three which counts as your double crochet then we're going to put two more double crochets back into that chain two space yarn over your hook insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two there's two and three now because this is a corner corner space we're going to chain two and we're going to go back into that corner space and do three more double crochets yarn over the hook insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's one two and three so before going to the next corner, now this is totally up to you. You can chain one or you can chain two. I usually chain one. So we're going to jump over to this corner space and we're going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So there's one. Yarn over the hook. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two, three. Then we're going to always in the corner, we chain two. So we're going to go back in and do three more double crochets. There's one, two and three then we're going to chain one every time you finish off a corner you chain one on the sides so again we're at our second our third corner space and we're going to repeat three double crochet chain two three double crochet all in that chain two space And then chain one, two, and then three more double crochets back into that chain two space. So there's one. Again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's two and three. And then once you finish that corner, you're going to chain one. Then you're going to go into this last corner, do your three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. There's one, two, three, chain two. Then we're going to put three more double crochets back in. 
So yarn over the hook, insert your hook, pull up the loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. two, three. Now we're going to chain one. So when you get back over to this side, in the top of the chain three space, you're going to insert your hook and do a slip stitch. And then slip stitch in the top of the next two double crochets. Insert your hook, pull that through, and then pull through that loop. In the top of the double crochet, insert your hook, pull through, and pull through. And we're going to slip stitch into this corner here. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then pull through. Always in the, when you come back to the corners, you're always going to chain three after you do that last slip stitch into that corner. So that, again, that chain three counts as your double crochet. So you're going to put two more double crochets back into that chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's two, three, chain two. And we're going to go back into that corner and do three more double crochets. Chain one. Now we're at the side. So we got the chain one space here. We're going to put three double crochets in that side. There's our three double crochets. We're going to chain one in the corner. We're going to do our three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in that chain two space in the corner. Anytime you come to the corners, all corners, you do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets. And then once you finish your corner piece, you're going to chain one. And then at the side, you just add three double crochets. Now you can make this bag as big as you want, as little as you want. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to jump over to the side space and that chain one space and do my three double crochets. And you're going to make two panels, two squares. So now we're in the corner, we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. chain one. We're at the side, so we're going to do three double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we got our three double crochets. You're going to chain one again, corner space in the chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. 
Now again, it all depends on what size of hook you're going to use, what type of yarn you're using to make this bag. It depends on the size. Like I'm using a seven, so it's going to be pretty, like each space is going to be bigger. And again, once you're done your corner space, you're going to chain one. I'm at my side again. So three double crochets. And as you progress, as you make this grow, you're going to have more on the sides to put three double crochets. So as you can see, I had with this row, the third row, there's only one that I had to do. So when you turn it around, we now have three, or sorry, two spaces here where we put three double crochets and then you chain one, three double crochets. So we're back to the corner here. And again, in the top of that chain three, so you count one, two, three, you're going to insert your hook and do a slip stitch. Then you're going to jump over to the next double crochet in the top loop, insert your hook, pull that through and do another slip stitch. Insert at the top of the next double crochet, pull the yarn through and then through there. Then you're going to go back into the corner, chain two space, do a slip stitch and chain three. That's what you do every time you come to the spot where you have to do your slip stitch to attach it. So when you get there, that chain three counts as your double crochet. So we're going to put two more double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And then when you hit the sides, you're going to do three double and then you chain one, three double crochet, chain one, jump over to the next chain one space three double crochet, chain one. In the corner, you do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Once you're done that corner space, you chain one, then you do your three double crochet, chain one, jump over, three double crochet, chain one. And you do this all the way around. So I'm gonna work this up to the size that I want and I will meet you at the beginning. Okay, so I am at the end of my I've done four rounds, so I'm just going to do a small one for you guys, like a over the shoulder where you just put your like a small wallet in and your cell phone type thing. So I'm only doing just for this swatch so you guys can kind of get a guess on how to make this bag. You can continue and do more rounds as big as you want to do it, like I said, but I'm going to show you what you do when you end your first um Oh my gosh, your first um, panel. So you've got your three chains. So you're going to go into the top of the third chain and you're going to do a slip stitch. And then chain one and then you just cut that off. And you're also going to need one of these tapestry needles so that you can sew in the ends. So I'm just gonna cut that off. And just pull that through and grab your tapestry noodle. Just weave in your ends. And just tie it the best that you can. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. Then you just snip that one off. And I worked this one in, so I'm just going to cut that off. 
So you're going to have these two panels. So you've got your two panels here. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip it the wrong side and then have the right, like the two wrong sides put on top of each other. Like I said, we're just doing a sample here on a smaller scale. This is, I went around the square four times. Um, you can make it as big as you want if you wanted a full, full bag or just around the shoulder or to off to the side. That is totally up to you how you want to do the bag. So we are going to now to sew up the sides. You can do it um, if you want to do crochet or sew it in. We're going to crochet it. So I'm going to go in here. And what I like to do is grab this, pull it through, and then I just tie it. That way it's sealed. You know it's good to go. And then you can just sew in that, your short piece here. So I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to pull that through. I'm going to chain one. And I'm just going to do a slip stitch in each stitch across. When I get to the chain space, I'm just going to do the um, a slip stitch in between there, just one slip stitch. So I'm going to go in the back, not through both loops, in the back of that one and in the front. And I'm going to pull it through and pull it through. So instead of both loops, you're going to go in the back of the first one and in the front of the second panel. Pull that through and pull it through the loop. And then you're going to go in the back and then the front. Pull that through and slip stitch. Go in, you can go in the back of all of them or you can go in that chain space back of that loop and then front of that loop and then pull it through back and then front pull through and pull through back of your first panel front on your second panel Grab that, pull it through, and then pull it through. So this is going to be the side. And you're just going to work this all the way down until you get to the end. At the bottom there. So again, you go into the back, and this one you work in the front. Back, front. Back, front. And you just do this so this is a side now we're coming down to the bottom piece which will be the bottom of the bag okay so just keep working around it you're going to go down this side and you're going to turn this will be the bottom and then you go up the other side
So I'm going to continue working this across until I get to the corner and I will meet you at the beginning. So I have done the side, the bottom. Now we're going to work last of the um, other side. So again, you just go in the back and then the fruit front. Back loop of the first panel, front loop on the second panel and you just slip stitch. Back on the first panel, front on the second. And I think it makes it look a lot nicer when you do that, when you go in the back loop and then the front loop, it's more, I think it's a like the edging is very nice and tidy. It looks a lot better, I think. I used to do the sewing up the sides, but I didn't really, I didn't like it. And then I tried to slip stitch through both on each side. And I just, the one day I did this and I was like, that looks a lot better. It just, it, it looks nicer, neater. It doesn't look as messy. Okay. And you can make your strap also um, whichever way you want to do it. And however, you can just do like a chain and attach it. You can do like three, like a chain of three and then just do your single crochets through that. That's totally up to you. The chain, the strap on how you do it for your bag is however you want to do it. Um, you don't have to do it the way I do it in this tutorial, whichever way you want to do it. That's totally up to you. So when you get to the end here, I'm going to do one more. Let's see if we can get that in there. Pull that through and then just chain one and just snip that off. Pull that through. Then just make sure you weave in your ends. You don't have to do it right away. You can wait until you are done um, making your bag. Doesn't have to be right away. I like to weave in the ends, 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 ends as I go. And just kind of go back and forth in between the loops. Just on the edge there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just weave those in. And you're just going to cut that one off. And weave that one in. It's a pretty simple bag to do. I mean, Granny Square is pretty easy to do. Everybody makes them differently. You start it off differently. Some people like to chain four and then you go down the uh, chain and insert there and do a slip stitch. I like to do the magic ring like I had shown you guys. I think I, I find it a lot better working the um, magic ring. But everybody's different. It's whatever you feel comfortable on how you make it, that is totally up to you. Okay, now you can leave it like that, or I'm just gonna move my camera up a bit. Or you can turn it inside out. 
and just kind of straighten that out a bit. Isn't that a cute little bag? And then you just make your straps and then you would attach them on the side or if you want it up the front you can put an edging around it so I am going to do I'm just gonna chain I think I'm just gonna chain four I'm gonna do a chain four so one two three four and I'm just gonna work single crochets as my hand on just go around you just go back and forth like I said you can do it whichever way you want to do it you can just do a chain not that, that's what the chain th four looks like so it ends up chain three or um, three stitches that you do So I'm going to work this handle up and I will meet you when I'm done. Okay, so I have done my strap. I just made it short. It could be for even like kids as well. There's a little strap. And then what you would do is you would attach it onto the sides, whether inside or outside. I prefer if you were sewing it on or even crocheting it on. I'd prefer do it on the inside because it looks a lot nicer and you don't have to worry about it being on the outside and looking, you know. So you just sew that on. Just make sure that handle is straight as well so that when you go to sew it on and then you go to pick it up and it's like, oh no, it's crooked. Just always make sure that that is straight. So there is your little bag. And like again, you can make it any size you want. You can continue, make it a bigger bag, or big, like a project bag, whatever you choose to decide. So I hope this tutorial really helped you guys today. And don't forget, if you haven't already, like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and hit that join if you'd like to become um, a member of my channel and join us wonderful family. And all my links are in my about page, my PayPal, and my other link is in there as well if you'd like to donate to my channel. All proceeds, all cash, all money goes towards my channel for donations, like for um, whether it's to help somebody else in the community, the crochet community, or um, knitting, whatever, if they need a skein of yarn or a cake, if they can't get it in wherever they live. Um, also to do giveaways, anything like that. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, stay safe, and happy crocheting.